I'm not married. I know that the food is better if you're married. I've never been married. I just know the food can't be any worse than the food-like substances that I'm eating in my house. I got bugs in my house going, uh, we're gonna order out. Do you want anything? <laughs> what about my food? If you're referring to that shit you bring home from the Arco station. Don't insult us. I don't know how to cook. And I'm never gonna know how to cook until they start putting some cooking shows on that television that are devoted to the single guy, late night, platypus lifestyle. Most of the cooking shows they have on now for people who already are pretty hip in the kitchen, if you know what I'm saying. It's always some guy at 12 in the afternoon on TV in a suit going, hello, welcome to Cooking from the Planet Mars. Today we're going to make a massively complicated dish using ingredients you don't have, utensils you can't afford, in a kitchen bigger than your whole fucking apartment. What good is that? I need a cooking show I can relate to. A cooking show with more of a regular slob. No English accent on this guy. He's an ordinary pig. Comes right out on television in his underwear. And not just any underwear. The repulsive ones that say, home of the Whopper, right on the front. Just a big, fat slob of a guy comes out there every week. Cooking with Bill the Belching Gourmet. Big, fat gun on the guy, you know? Pizza boxes and porno books all over that studio. <laughs> a cooking show for anybody who ever tried to make tuna fish on toast and wound up in the burn unit with mayonnaise in their hair. <laughs> a cooking show for anybody who ever ran out of dishwashing powder, put in shampoo, and wound up in the Lawrence Welk sketch from hell. <laughs> Big fat slob of a guy comes right on in television every Friday night at 4 a.m. during feeding hours. <laughs> cooking with Bill. Good evening. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking with Bill the Belching Gourmet. Tonight, I'd like to make a nice beef Wellington. And I'd like to be in a hot tub with Julia Roberts, but hey, let's be fucking realistic, am I right? No siree, what I'm actually gonna make is this shit here, the old standby, the poor man's pasta, Kraft macaroni and cheese. That's right. Still 38 cents a metric ton. <laughs> Can't beat it with a stick as far as I'm concerned. Well, let's pop it there in the old microwave while we take a look at today's product in the spotlight. And here it is, clam tomato juice. Clam and tomato mixed together and you drink it. And notice that I say, you fucking drink it. Because I can't think of a more disgusting Adams Family combination of juice. Who the hell thought of that? When's the last time you had some tomato juice and went, boy, that needs fish. Put some fish in there. How can you bring it out plain? Swizzle a little mackerel around in there, for Christ's sake. What kind of a host are you? Want some clamato? No, thanks. I just had a big glass of flounder apple, you sick psychopath. I just had some herring prune, but thanks for the invite. Well, while we're waiting on the macaroni and cheese, let's take a look at some of the mail that's been pouring in you guys out there and we culinary tips. Here's a guy who writes in and says to me, Dear Bill, the other day, my wife and I got into an argument over the salad forks. She says they go on the right, and I said they go on the left. So here's my question. Do you think the Rams have a shot at the Super Bowl? <laughs> and speaking of bowls, if a bowl of carrots is so good for your eyesight, how come I see so many dead rabbits on the highway? <laughs> I mean, is that an old wives' tale? Like, why do you say you have to wait an hour after you eat to go swimming? The other day I fed my fish, and they went swimming right away. <laughs> Anyways, before I go off on a tangent, here's my question. I was wondering, why does Diet Coke only have one calorie? I mean, if they get all those other calories out, what's the problem with that last little bastard, am I right? I mean, how do they know it's even in there? Maybe in a six-pack, one can got all the calories. Maybe there's millions of cans with no calories, but there's that one killer can bouncing around. Hey, speaking of killer cans bouncing around, I was watching the Oprah Winfrey show the other day, and it turns out that the United States government allows a certain amount of rat droppings inside of a hot dog that they consider an acceptable amount. Boy, if I had to describe my reaction in one word, that word would be, I couldn't fucking believe it. 
And speaking of not being able to believe it, what is this shit called? I can't believe it's not butter, huh, Bill? Well, then exactly what the hell is it then? I mean, you can call anything in a supermarket. I can't believe it's not butter if you're stupid enough. You can look at a lawn chair and go, can't believe it's not butter. Why not? Because I'm stupid. You know, it sounds to me, Bill, like the company that makes it is trying to avoid some kind of a lawsuit. Like maybe there's foot ointment or something poisonous in there. You take them to court and you go, hey, this isn't butter. They're gonna go, hey, we never said it was. All we said was we couldn't believe it was. Now grease up your feet and take a walk, asshole. Hold on, Bill. Hold on, my pen ran out of ink. Okay, I'm back. Anyways, like I was saying, I've been eating healthy. And I've noticed that the more disgusting and horrible a food tastes when you eat it, the more likely it is to be really good for you. And then I noticed that my dog is always eating his own turds. So I'm wondering, does he know something that I don't know? Because he's got a real shiny coat and I'm losing all my hair, you know? I know it sounds disgusting, but he always has that look of, I can't believe it's not butter. Hold on, Bill, my wife is yelling about something in the other room. How do you like that? It's a boy. Anyways, like I was saying, speaking of miracles around the house, the other day I put a box of baking soda in my refrigerator and I'll be damned if it didn't suck up all the bad odors. So I'm wondering, if you go to the baking soda factory and you fart, can anybody tell? Because that'd be a good place to work if you're a real gassy person who ain't got a job. Like my Uncle Bob, farts all day, plus he ain't working. I said, why don't you go to the bank sort of factory? You, gotta, you know, live, work there and stop annoying us. Or if you have to live here, at least open a fridge and fart in there, you pig. <laughs> Signed confused. Well, thank you for that letter there. Unfortunately, you ran out of time reading your psychotic rambles. The good news is, the macaroni and cheese is just about done. Well, that's our show for tonight on Cooking with Bill. Thanks for tuning in. Until tomorrow, remember our motto, never fry bacon when you're naked. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking with Bill. The belching. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Disgraceful gourmet. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a good show?